Did scientists find the solution to the Fermi paradox? For decades, humans have wondered if there's life outside of Earth. And while there have been many theories and claims about extraterrestrial life, none have been proven so far. This, of course, has led to the birth of the Fermi paradox. And now, scientists claim they have a solution to it. They also hope they're wrong. Keep watching this video to get the full scoop. The Fermi paradox explained. The high possibility of the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence and the lack of evidence for such aliens is what is known as the Fermi paradox. The Fermi paradox states as follows. There are two possible outcomes. Either we are the only intelligent life in the universe or we are not. The two are just as terrifying as each other. Since then, this has been a puzzling problem for many specialists. But with all the stars and planets in the Milky Way, why have we had no contact with any intelligent life? This conundrum is known as the Fermi Paradox, and it can be resolved in a variety of ways, some of which are more disturbing than others. So where are all the aliens in the universe? This is a hard question posed by the Fermi Paradox. Why has no alien come to see us or communicate with us if life is so plentiful out there? NASA estimates that trillions of stars in our galaxy, the vast majority of which host their own planets, have been discovered in just the previous two decades. If life could have arisen on Earth, then surely it also has somewhere else in the universe over the past 14 billion years. Don't you think so? The Planetary Society claims that Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi came up with the Fermi paradox. The notion is attributed to a casual question he posed during lunch with coworkers in 1950. Where is everybody? He pondered whether, given Earth's youth in cosmic terms, we shouldn't have seen proof of alien contact by now. Not having much time to mull over the issue, Fermi passed away in 1954. Nonetheless, his concept has spurred numerous research initiatives aimed at finding a solution to the issue, such as the hunt for alien intelligence. How do we resolve the Fermi paradox? The Fermi paradox can be resolved in various ways. The most obvious and likely is that we haven't looked hard enough to find alien life and that traveling between stars is difficult. The first extrasolar planets were identified in the 1990s. As a result, our investigation of planets beyond Earth has only just begun. For instance, we have not yet discovered many Earth-like planets orbiting Sun-like stars, but it is hoped that future telescopes may be able to make such discoveries in the next decade or two. Even yet, the vast distances between star systems make travel between them challenging. Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to the Sun, is four light years away. When compared, the distance from Earth to Neptune is only 0.0005 light years away. But even with today's technology, the trip would take decades. The possibility exists that intelligent extraterrestrials have either elected never to visit Earth or visited Earth a long time ago but left no traces behind. An alternative explanation is that life is highly rare, making the chances of two sentient species being located relatively close to each other in the vastness of space extremely low. A darker theory is that humans are the only sentient beings in the cosmos. Due to the extremely low probability of the emergence of life like that seen on Earth, our planet is unique in having such a thing occur. Researchers are skeptical of this possibility. However, it is possible that a great filter will intervene and stop our civilization from developing to the point where we can make contact with others. To what do we owe the great filter? There's a theory called the great filter, which states that intelligent life on habitable worlds is wiped out by cataclysmic events before it can expand into the cosmos. The causes of these occurrences are open to speculation. Solar flares, global warming, and asteroid strikes are all possibilities, as are man-made catastrophes like a nuclear holocaust. If this is indeed the case, it is unclear whether or not we have already passed this filter. What's the Drake Theorem? The American astronomer Frank Drake proposed the Drake Equation in 1961, which states that the number of possible civilizations in the cosmos may be computed given knowledge of a small number of parameters. The notion is that if you account for all of these variables, you can estimate how many more advanced societies there are in the universe. Drake once equipped that this simple approach would be like trying to predict the total number of college students 
by multiplying the annual intake by the median time spent in school. Unfortunately, we still don't know enough about a lot of important factors to estimate how many other sentient species might exist. The Fermi Paradox. Can it ever be answered? There is a lot of optimism among scientists that we can find a solution to the Fermi Paradox. The quest for new planets continues unabated, and future telescopes, like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, will allow for unprecedented research of exoplanet atmospheres. Scientists may reduce the number of potential Earth-like planets in the universe by finding more of them in the habitable zones surrounding their stars, where temperatures are just suitable for liquid water to exist, and by studying some of these Earth-like orbs in our galaxy with cutting-edge telescopes. In the end, more information is all that's needed to solve the Fermi Paradox for good. But if habitable planets are abundant, and astronomers haven't heard from anyone, then it could imply that intelligent life like that on Earth is uncommon. When it comes to the cosmos, do we have any company? Scientists want to find out in the coming years whether or not we are alone in the universe. We may be able to learn crucial information from ongoing missions, such as NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars. The samples that the Perseverance rover is gathering are expected to be returned to Earth in the 2030s. It would be evidence that life had emerged in at least two places, Earth and this other globe, if we were to find even rudimentary life on Mars or another site, like an icy moon of Jupiter or Saturn, such as Europa or Enceladus. Such a scenario would indicate that life is not confined to Earth alone. It would increase the possibility that similar intelligent life like ours exists elsewhere in the universe. Planetary scientists offer further solutions. Two scientists, one from the Carnegie Institution for Science and the other from the California Institute of Technology, have proposed a workable explanation for the Fermi Paradox. Michael Wong and Stuart Bartlett wrote in the Journal of the Royal Society Interface that they believe the absence of extraterrestrial contact is due to the fact that superlinear scaling inevitably results in a singularity. Scientist Enrico Fermi once inquired of a colleague as to the absence of extraterrestrial visits to Earth. Given the vastness of space, the two agreed that it was highly improbable that only Earth could support sentient beings. Fermi then posed the now famous query, where are they? The two researchers have now made a fresh attempt to crack this case once and for all. To begin, they looked at the rise and fall of various civilizations throughout human history. Then they looked at the arc of the development of major urban centers and found similar patterns. Most reached a peak of prosperity before tumbling to their doom. They conjectured that such rise and fall of alien space civilizations could only result in one of two outcomes. At first, the culture realizes it has become too large and stops exploring and populating other planets. However, they would fail in the second scenario because they wouldn't see the mistake. For us, the outcome of either scenario is the same. No aliens will ever visit Earth or even show physical proof of their existence. There's no way we could ever travel the distance to meet them. Scientists say their theory, in which a civilization expands exponentially and colonizes other worlds until its energy supply is exhausted, is an example of superlinear scaling. If they did not intervene, their society would eventually reach a singularity a point beyond which it would be hopeless to prevent its complete collapse. They point out that if humans weren't limited by such great distances, it would be rather simple to find signs of a dying alien society. So guys, the Fermi Paradox will keep hanging over our heads as long as we haven't made real evidential contact with alien life. But who knows, maybe one day NASA or SpaceX astronauts will have the pleasure of doing so. That is, if they don't come visiting first. Thanks for watching.